Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to do another episode of Arduino for Kids. And what I've got here is just a super simple random LED blinker project that you know you can put together with your son or daughter. And uh, it's something that I think they'll be completely amazed with. All we've got here are eight LEDs and they're blinking in a random pattern and we can control the speed of the blink using a potentiometer. So if you think this is something that you'd like to build with your kids or build for yourself, stick around and I'll show you how to do it step by step. All right, let's get started. So you only need a few things. You're gonna need eight LEDs. Now these are three millimeter LEDs, but you can use five millimeter LEDs or even eight millimeter LEDs, it doesn't matter. Whatever you've got on hand, I, I chose random colors, you can use a single color. Again, whatever you've got on hand will work. Now, you need resistors for your LEDs to limit the current so they don't burn out. Now, I've simply used a uh, single inline resistor pack. Just makes it easier for the wiring. But if you don't have that, that's fine, and you can just use regular resistors, and you just want to put you know, one from the cathode of the LED to the ground bar on your breadboard. No problem. Then we have our Arduino. In this case, I used an Uno, but you could use a Nano or a Pro Mini, or heck, if you want to increase the number of LEDs, you know, you could even use a Mega and, you know, run 52 LEDs. We also have a potentiometer here. The value doesn't matter. Whatever value you want, some connecting wire and I'm powering it with a 9 volt battery but you can just you know power it off the computer or however you want now this capacitor here is optional you see if I pull it out it really doesn't do anything what it simply does is smooths out the uh, the power that is coming to the LEDs no big deal it's just something that I call like a best practice something that we want to do alright so let's uh, take a look at how this is wired up we have eight LEDs here in our project and I've got them wired up going from digital pin 2 through digital pin 9. Make sure you don't uh, use pin 1, that's one of your TX pins and you're going to need that to uh, upload from the computer. So all we have here then is a single wire going from pin 2 to the anode of the first LED and we just go across just like that straight connection nothing special and again remember when you're using a breadboard like this all these pins in these vertical rows are the same so plugging it into the first uh, pin first hole or the last hole is all the same you can plug them into whatever ones you want as long as they line up with the pins on the LEDs now another thing you'll notice is that I have the LEDs bridging this gap here. If you don't do it like that, you, they, they'll short out and it won't work. So you want to have your anode on one side and your cathode on the other side. Now how do you know which one is which? Well generally, and I say generally because depending on where you get your LEDs from, some places do it differently the longer lead is your anode or your positive connection and the shorter lead is the cathode some will also have a flat spot so you can find out like that um, if you're still unsure I'll show you a little trick if you've got any of these uh, button cell batteries floating around they make an excellent LED tester so they're marked positive side negative side just take whatever you think is the positive side and squeeze it together. If you got it right, they'll light up. If not, they won't light up. And generally, unless they're absolutely brand new right out of the box, they don't have enough current in them to burn up your LED. So that's our LED setup. Next we have our potentiometer. The potentiometer has three contacts. Uh, the, the two outer contacts are the ends, think of it like as the ends of the resistor, and the middle is called the wiper, and that's your variable contact. 
So what we do is we put one to the positive connection and one out of the, the other outside to the negative connection and then our wiper we are running up here to analog pin A0. So what's happening is here this is reading the 5 volts coming out of the Arduino but by adjusting the potentiometer we are adjusting how much voltage is fed back to the Arduino and then that analog pin will take a look at that voltage reading and return a number between 0 and 1023. That's how we're getting our delay. If we have it all the way in one direction, it will be 0 and there will be no delay. So basically these things will look like they're on full time. If we turn it all the way the other, our delay will be 1023 milliseconds or about 1.2 seconds. So you have a nice slow delay. And you can adjust it anywhere in between. Now, I simply have the 5 volts from the Arduino coming out here to the positive connection on one side of the breadboard, and then I have the ground coming out here to the negative side of the breadboard, and since I'm running my ground from the LEDs down here to this side, there's just a jumper wire coming down here. And that is all there is to the wiring. Now let's take a look at the code which you find is also really simple. Okay, so here's our code. For, this is Arduino for kids. I'm just calling it random LEDs. So we're going to start with a global variable. It is an integer variable, which means it's a whole number, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it doesn't have a decimal point. That would be called a float variable, and we don't want to mess with that today. So we're creating an integer variable called my delay, and that's what we're using to set our delay time and we're just going to give it an initial value of zero. doesn't have to be zero. You can make it anything you want. Next we come into the first section of our program and this is the setup. The setup runs once at the beginning of the program and allows us to set the Arduino's input output pins and other things the way we want them to run. So in this case we have our LEDs hooked up to IO pins 2 through 9 and we're using the pin mode command to tell the Arduino how we want the pins to behave. Since they're called I.O. input output pins, they can be either inputs or outputs. And we're telling them we want them to be outputs. If you don't do that, this won't work. Once all of those are set up, here's just something I do to make things look cleaner. In case there's any stray voltages running around, none of the LEDs are going to accidentally come on at the beginning of the program by doing this we're just setting them all to low low is the equivalent of off and the command we're using to turn them on and off is the digital write command there's also an analog write command but we're not using it the analog write command allows us to use pulse width modulation to simulate an analog value between 0 and 5 volts or 0 and 1023 so here we're just using the digital write is equal to on or off. So we say, you know, each individual pin, make sure they're off. And that's the end of the setup part of the program. Next we have the loop part of our program. This is what I would call the actual program and the part that's going to run over and over. So the first thing it is going to do at the beginning of every run through this is going to read the value of the potentiometer. So remember that variable we created at the beginning called my delay. What we're saying here is let my delay be equal to the value that you find in analog pin 0. Now this is an analog read so it can be between 0 and 1023. If we did a digital read it would only be a 1 or a 0. So you have to make sure that you use the analog read here. So it's going to take that value and it's going to store it here in my delay for us to use. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tell the Arduino to pick a random number between 2 and 9. And of course those are the pins that we set up up here that have our LEDs on them. So first we set our delay, then we pick our random number. And those are the two things that change every time through the program. So we want to do them first. Once we have those two things, we can have the program run. 
so what it's going to do now is it's going to do that digital write that's the on or the off and it's going to digital write to the pin called my LED which the Arduino picked randomly right here so we're gonna say turn my LED on which is high and then we're gonna wait because if you don't and you just told it to turn off it would just be a really quick blink that you might not even be able to see so we're gonna wait how long are we gonna wait we're gonna wait the amount of time that we had up here in my delay that's what that potentiometer that knob does after that we turn the LED off by doing a digital write my LED low and that's the same as we did up here in the setup part of the program we're just turning them off remember high is on low is off and then we're going to wait again the same amount of time once that's done it goes back to the start of the loop not back to the start of the program mind you just back to the start of the loop right back up to here and that my friends is so if you've got your code uploaded everything should be running power it up and there we go I turn the potentiometer all the way clockwise in my case and we have our longest delay turn it all the way counterclockwise and they look like they're almost completely on and you just find yourself a nice spot where you think it looks good and yes sometimes it'll blink the same one over and over and over again that's just the pseudo randomness of the program I hope you like this it's a really neat little program and it's you know something that just about any kid could put together impress your friends you know it could be used as a prop or for cosplay or anything you like I hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed showing it to you so if you did enjoy it give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe make sure you click on the bell too so you know when there's new videos coming out okay alright well that's all I've got for you today I'm out peace